So here we are at the Occupy. We are occupying the port here. Heading up to bar 23. I just got back. I was here earlier. Went to go get booze and other supplies. There's the cops. They seem like they're pretty chill. Looks like things might be pretty chill tonight. Bringing pizza. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can get into. So here we are on Adeline. There's like maybe two or three hundred people out in the middle of the street playing bongos and drums. Uh, there's a sound truck over there. Uh, not a whole lot compared to the last time we shut down the port. There were like 20,000 people here. It was, it was way smaller this time. Everything looks pretty chill. The uh, cops have been pretty chill, although there, earlier when I first got here, there was like one cop car, and now there's like several. I know, there's just one hell of a way to protest. They get more people maybe with that beer. So we're splitting in half. Soundtrack's going that way. Hippie jam band staying over that way. The cops still over there. How many more hours do we have? Three out, maybe four hours of dancing. Get this terminal closed. Maybe uh, it's not that big of a terminal. Maybe it's all going on somewhere else. They got like some food going on. Here's this food, and coffee. Got the vodka and orange juice. And this guy. Uh, I wanted to know if the uh, cops had left it down there or not. Yeah. I don't know. Let's find out. So it's a totally different scene here at this entrance. You see the uh, security truck circles around in the background. Much more traditional protest with the picket line. It's pretty cute, very 60 style. What's wrong with this picture? Comes. That's what I'm talking about. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Good job, dude. You amaze me in your power to sleep. Nice little street band we got here. It's lovely. I love that people are just making their own music. I have to say, this is not my scene. Old school hippie protest, no. Let's go back to the raver, uh, I don't even know what else to call it. The raver protest. So, coming back up on the uh, party scene. Over here. It's changed a little bit. Music tempo's a little bit different. Oh, they're marching over here too. That's unfortunate. If we can keep the picket as tight as possible around this crosswalk, then no one should sneak in through the side because they've already tried to sneak in two vans of workers at the other entrance. Good to know, they're trying to sneak in workers. Oh, here comes the popo. Where did the cops go? I'm checking it out. So we're chilling over here, trying to stop the longshoremen from getting to work here. Hey, are you live? No, I am not live. Uh -huh. Come on, park that thing, come out. We're having more fun than you. Hey, I can get you guys a mask. You can come join us. You won't get fired. What? I can get you guys a mask. You can come join us. You won't get fired. Well, it seems to be pretty handled over here. Let's go see what's going on down there. You two fellas were in like the uh, the uh, the roundup they did last time when they shut it down. What was that like? Um, it's definitely not cool. 
Uh, we got kicked out at like 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock. Uh, I was actually like standing, uh, watching guard when they came out of the state California building. And we were like booking it back to camp. And uh, we got surrounded and then the people who left voluntarily all got to leave. And, we left. I and uh, so we all walked out and then we watched in the video tape. Mm -hmm. The cops uh, were arresting all the people at the camp. Yeah. And, uh, at one point they actually grabbed my friend's camera out of his hand. And then when he wouldn't let go of it, they like tackled him. Yeah. And uh, they arrested him and my other friend and pushed me to the ground with the baton and uh, just, yeah, called them off and destroyed the detail. Well, what, what were you doing to like provoke them to do this? Um, the, the guy was sitting there filming uh, the riot cops arresting the prime minister still at that camp. So in other words, they beat you guys up because you guys have evidence of them acting like jackasses? Exactly. It was when they that, that's that, the, does that sound about right? They set off a flashbang at someone. Yeah. And uh, they said it was an M1000. Oh, so they threw a firecracker at you and said you threw a firecracker at them? Yeah, they, we had that on video. Seems like the group is growing a little bit. There's less people over here than over there for sure. I think it's pretty solid evidence that like uh, techno is way better for protesting than heavy music. I mean, we were out of school back in the day, man, but... Base. So I just had a chance to check out the uh, porta potty scene. I must say it was pretty nice. Uh, there was toilet paper in it. It wasn't completely full, although it was getting kind of full, which is not too bad for two in the morning. Yeah, uh, there was still water in the uh, hand washer too, so that was pretty awesome. There are no cops left. There are no helicopters. Apparently, it's not city property. Not city problem. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So I get the feeling these are like a lot of the longshoremen over here, kind of waiting for their boss to tell them they can go home. Got the line going on here, looking good, keeping it tightish. Earlier, somebody tried to run over a whole bunch of people, educating these individuals on not running us over and stuff, which is probably good. All right, it's looking good. I think I think it might work. It might like cost them a little bit of money. You know the downfall to America, what happened? It started way back when Bush Sr. started the NAFTA. And then he was a Republican. It don't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat. Let me show you this, let me show you this trick. He started the NAFTA. He wasn't in he was he was just getting off his, uh, out of office. He didn't etch a stone it. Clinton, the Democrat, came along and etched the stone, the NAFTA agreement. That got all these jobs out of America. We had all kind of Coca-Cola, seven up factory, mothers cooking. Uh, uh, General Motors, Ford, uh, Kraft Food, all these good paying union jobs with medical and dental would fuck the 401k because that's a, that's, a, that's a gimmick. We would pensions, jobs with real pensions. They signed that NAFTA and that's why uh, uh, Indonesia, Nike, where they make Nikes, that's why all the jobs over there, China, Mateo, all these jobs is over there, American companies, but it's the federal justice system that's not bringing these motherfucking jobs back in the, in the presidents and shit in the, in the, in the government. I mean, I'm telling you what, what's, what's going on with America. It's the motherfucker that signed that NAFTA. Yep. Clinton, and Clinton, they, they brought Rob on Clinton, but he fucked us big. NAFTA fucked America. Globalism fucked the world. So we'll call this Work You Pie. Work You Pie Oakland. I'm, I'm pushing that thing down the street, and he's like, oh, what are you doing? And this guy's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm pushing these down the block, the crowd. And he's like, oh. I'm like, why, you want to help me? I see him on Santa Fe. I'm like, why, you want to help? He's like, uh, I don't know if I support. He's like, I think the people do it just well. I'm like, yeah, when people don't get hit. That's another watch, your back. Story. watch out, watch out, watch out. All right. Don't slow down. Don't be an asshole. Don't get, don't get hit. Well, I don't have a hell of fat lawsuit. Asshole, I'd love to have a hell of fat lawsuit. Pretty straight. Hey, be on the news. So it's just been declared that we shut down the shift. I guess everybody's leaving. Supposedly we win. News guys are here. Just after it all ended, good job, guys. But I think it's time to go. Here we are, everybody. The picket line broke the Empire's hold on the Oakland port for just a night. We're headed home. I'm headed home and back to the, the Falcon. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oakland. Yeah. This is a city with some balls.